Luna, thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. Yes. I, I'm glad that I can finally get a check for the, um, the damage. Yes, the yes, problem. yes, yes. And before I go any further, um, I do uh, have cameras rolling for the insurance company and the attorneys. They want to see this session. I also need to put a mic on you. Is that okay? That is fine. Is that fine? Okay, yeah. thank you. Appreciate it. I just don't understand why the cameras. The cameras is just, I document everything. They're going to want to look at the footage, all of that stuff, corporate stuff. Okay. Well, I have nothing to hide. Good, because I would feel funny if you want me to turn the cameras off. If you can put that <laughs> like somewhere where we can hear you. Ooh, I think that might work. There you go. So um, let's just get straight to it because I know you're here to pick up your check and mm -hmm. usually when people come in and see me, I'm a private investigator, you already understand that. And then they, um, they want to know what's going on right away. So let's just talk about the car. I've got your check here. Uh, I do want to talk to you about the car. Mm -hmm. uh, you did a police report. I did the police report the night it happened, the night my car was stolen. Okay, so you did your police report and you also said the vehicle was stolen. You haven't seen the vehicle, obviously. And that was it. Give me, uh, oh, you're at your apartment. Give me, um, I understand you did this police report, but just give me a scenario, like a synopsis, just what, what happened that day uh, when you noticed that your vehicle was missing? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I had just gotten out of work and I was driving home and I, you know, I got home, I did dinner and okay. just like any regular weekday and, um, and then I, I was going to go to the grocery store and then I went outside and I didn't see my car. Okay. So... Just I noticed hours later that somebody had stolen my car and um, I thought perhaps, you know, maybe it could have been my boyfriend who had gotten, got in, I don't know, maybe a friend of mine had pulled a prank, mm -hmm. but no. Um, um, yeah. So that's what happened. And what time, I'm not even going to look at the police report, I'm just going to ask you, what time did it happen when you noticed that it was uh, missing? When I noticed it, it was around 8.30. In the morning? No, uh, in the night. 8.30 8 at night? Mm-hmm. Maybe I do have to look at this. That's when I realized it was gone, my car. Okay, so here it says 8.30 a.m. That's what you told, that's what you said on the police report. It was 8.30 a.m. So you're saying it was p.m.? It was p.m. because I had gotten home from work. Okay. Yeah. But yes, when I filed the police report, it was in the morning after exhausting all of the different options. Okay. I thought like it could have been like this, or that, but it wasn't any of them. So I okay. did file the report after. Okay, so you were going by the time you filed a report, not when the incident really happened. Not when it happened. Okay. It happened the okay. day prior and then I filed it after. Because you can't be filing no false or police reports now. You can't be doing that. That's big, big trouble. Oh, so no. you, you noticed that the vehicle was missing. Did you see any glass laying on the ground? Did you uh, um, see any signs of it like broken into? Anything like that? No, I didn't. You didn't? I, okay. Mm -mm. So when you noticed that the vehicle was stolen, you called, what I'm sure. What do you mean by this? Well, I, I do that because you said that you didn't know if it was a prank. You didn't know if it was somebody messing with you. Because so when you, know, you think of other things that could have been, could have happened except for it. Maybe a toad. Did you call to see if it was towed? That wasn't mentioned in the police report. Usually when someone gets there, when their car is missing, they follow sort of the same kind of steps. The first thing is, mm -hmm. did I get my towed? Usually people think it's towed. I never like would think somebody would say, "Oh my car." That was also stuff. one of the options right. that I did. I right. did call. Okay, so this is yeah. this is the story I'm trying to get out of you, right? D okay. Just like everything that happened, a play by play, right? So far, you said the police report. You put the wrong thing in there. That's fine because you were probably distraught, distraught. Hey, you know, mm -hmm. and I get that, which is wrong to do that. But and and then you know you're not really telling me like, hey, did you you know call the tow? Uh, tow company did you did you you know what did you do you just said hey you know i just noticed it was stolen and i waited the next day and i you know and i no 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 well that's I, what, I, 
I noticed it was stolen, and then I went through all of the th different things that could have happened. You called your friends. I, I called my friend. Okay. I called my boyfriend, mm -hmm. and I called to see if it had been towed away. And no, like it, that, it wasn't any of those. Okay. So yeah, that's where I came to the conclusion that it was stolen. It was stolen, and it's been already. I don't know how much time has passed mm -hmm. since then, and I definitely need that money to go to work and do my, you know. Understood. What's uh, what's your boyfriend's name? Brian. Brian. See, when you get my age, you got to keep putting these on my reading glasses. Well, I have contacts on, so. Um, so when you file the, uh, the police report, you just, just wait, because obviously you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Did the police ever get back to you in terms of, uh, hey, we found your car or anything like that? Or you just didn't care? Unfortunately, I've reached out to them and they mm -hmm. keep telling me the same thing, that they're looking into it mm -hmm. and they haven't found any trace of my car. So I, I don't, I haven't had an answer on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so since that time because you have not even contacted the police about this car yet you never because usually when someone oh, I gets did. wait did it didn't i just tell you that i had called out the police when no i, I called the police when how long days since? ago okay okay this is what i'm saying okay. from what i'm reading in this maybe a couple days ago i'm not saying you didn't but from what I'm reading from the report and what have you done since then, since I got this case, since mm -hmm. the insurance company said, hey, D, you know, talk to Luna, see what's going on so we can cut the check and make sure everything's good. You haven't contacted them a couple of days ago. You might. I don't have any proof on that. I'm just going by your word. But well, up we until can go now, based on my call log, you can see that I, I contacted them. No, no, no. You, you don't have to do that. They haven't reached out to you, me. You don't have to do that. I'm just saying mm -hmm. from when I got this case. Two days ago, I had this case for a while. In fact, I'll tell you, I received your case. I received your case three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So. Can you believe three weeks without a car? Hey, that could be tough. I can understand that could be tough, but just understanding that since those three weeks have gone by, mm -hmm. there was no call to law enforcement. Because usually, if someone gets their car stolen, they're gonna, you know, either call insurance company, hey, what's mm -hmm. going on, mm -hmm. or the police, hey, did you guys find anything? What's going on with my car? Usually, people are doing that. But in your case, it it just never happened. Except you're saying two days ago. Okay. I've called them and I haven't had an answer. And of course they have, like that's not one of their priorities. So I'm definitely, I, I hope I can get an answer today or at least Oh, you're gonna have an answer today. Car. Oh, you're gonna have an answer. Because, yeah, yeah, that's why you're here for your answer, for, mm -hmm. the, for the check, right? Oh, you're gonna have a really nice answer. So you didn't contact, at least up until now, I'm just going based off my, my records. You haven't contacted the police in three weeks and whatever days, but you did it a couple of days ago, right? I, right and when it happened, I filed the police report. Yes, I see and, that. And yeah, the insurance claim. Yes. So that, that was squared away, but right. in terms of like knowing, right? knowing who could have done it, why, or yeah, we don't really know what happened to the car. I, I don't know how it could have just disappeared. So we were assuming that somebody stole the car and I've reached out to law enforcement and they haven't given me any answers, so I, I don't know. So you reached out to the insurance company not about the car, you reached out just for your check. I see it right here when you called the rep. You called them four days after your car was reported stolen. Mm -hmm. You called them four days. So okay, I guess you did call in your car, but you called about the check. The note said you called regarding your check, which is, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You call and hey, you know, I don't have a car, give my money. I get that. Mm -hmm. But usually people will call the law enforcement because they want to know about their car. Mm. Right. So I just, Luna, I just, I have to ask you, are you being honest with me uh, regarding this vehicle? I mean, what, it seems a little shady, like something's going on. Are you hiding something or maybe not giving Uncle D the, the most, you know, Do the you information know that I need? how long it took me to get here? To get where? Here. To my office? To your office. Yeah. Okay. I had to take the bus. Okay. 
and I, I'm riding on a bicycle now. Yeah, obviously you can. do you, you think I, I like and I enjoy that? No, I don't. A lot of people, I, I, I used to have to ride the bus. To I used to have to, I used to ride my bike to school in the snow and I had to ride the bus. All that shit, ain't nothing wrong with why that. Why would I, what I'm trying to, why would I go through the extra hassle of getting to the bus and riding my bicycle just for all of this to be a lie? Really? You're I, accusing I, me of being a liar? I mean, listen, am I accusing you of being a liar? I would never accuse someone of something that I didn't have facts on. I would never say, hey, you know, I didn't say, hey, you stole your own car, did I? I'm just asking you that, about wow, what happened. Wow, the audacity. If you would accuse me of doing that, wow. All no, I'm saying I, is that I want to know the facts. And the facts are you haven't contacted the police department regarding the car except a couple days ago and you told me that uh strike that i'm trying to i'm trying to open something and talk to you at the same time um have you seen the car i haven't you haven't seen it let me no. show you the car this is the car right here there's your wow. jeep looks like somebody did a number on it who would do this why mm -hmm. i got a good feeling on who did it did you you want to know who did it? I definitely sure want to know. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure you would probably want to know who did it. I'm going to show you who did it. But you know, I, I've actually been grieving the car. Oh, wow. That's okay. Brian. That's your boyfriend. That's why you're taking the bus. He can't take you to work or take you anywhere because he's in jail right now. And do you know why he's in jail? Brian is in jail for allegedly stealing your car, hmm. burning the car, Hmm. Destroying the car. He got caught. He got caught. How am I just knowing this? Like, I, yeah. he is my boyfriend. Yeah. Wait, how? When? What? Yeah. You haven't heard from him. He, yeah, he just got arrested recently. Yeah, he's in jail right now. And guess what he said? Mm -hmm. He said that you guys are going to split this money. He confessed. He said it was your plan to contact him. Y'all was like, hey, let's get this money. Mm. You steal the car. I didn't even know that he was in jail. Destroy the car? I know, I just shock people, I know. Why you think you're taking the bus? He haven't returned your calls, has he? He hasn't. He no hasn't. wonder he hasn't reached out to me. No wonder he hasn't answered any of my calls well. Yeah, he's in jail right now. And yeah. not, I, I thought it was because I was being too needy. No, he's in jail because you guys had a plan to steal from the insurance company to commit fraud. That's why he's in jail. So you want to go ahead and look at I the cameras and tell, maybe tell the insurance company I that mean, you're I sorry been... that you guys are crooks and you're trying to steal money. Oh, wait a minute. Like, yeah, I, that's what's going on. I've been dating him for about nine months now and I never thought that he would do this. I never thought, never thought he, he would... would do what? I never thought that he would steal my car. I never thought it was uh -huh. him. Okay. No. All right. So what if I also told you I have messages that you guys talked about this? Yeah. Well, I would like to see those. You'd like to see them? Okay. Yeah. Let me show you. I'm going to show you on my phone because I don't have them printed out. So when he was in jail, his phone was confiscated and he gave the investigators permission to go through his phone because he wants to plead his innocence because he's saying this wasn't me. This was Luna's idea. This is what he's saying. So let me show you. So, you see that? That's your conversation right there. Him saying that he's going to take the car and you said, okay, do that. And then you'll split the money with him. You think I would be that dumb as to text? This, oh, so no. this isn't your text message from him? No, that would not be me. Okay. That is him framing okay. me. He's no. framing you. No, no, He's no. He's framing you. And we saw that that text message came from your phone line. What are you talking about framing? No. What are you talking about? Right here. If I would have been part of this plan. I would have Right here. We'll split, we'll split the money and go on vacation. And he says, I love you. So I love you too. This is this whole conversation here is about this car that's being stolen by him. By him. You and you. I would be that dumb. Well, like apparently you are. You are that dumb and you are wow. that stupid to come in here and lie to no. me. And guess what? I was actually guess what? Not me. You're not going to get any money. In fact, you're going to get arrested today. What do you think about that? 
No, I You're think You're going to be the to... same place where Brian is today. What do you think? I think I have a right to a lawyer and I'm not You do. Say you do have a right to a lawyer, but right now as this very second, your ass is getting arrested. I was expecting this to be very different. Okay. I... Well, I guess it's not. This is going to be different. Come on. You're going to no, jail. Actually, You're different. no, I'm not going to go. You're under arrest. You have to go Come with on. Us. Let's go. I... Come on. Why the am I going to jail? Oh, Get her phone. Get her phone, too. Take that phone. No. Share your phone. Give me your phone. Come on. Okay. Go against the wall. Put your hands up on the wall. I don't understand. Why is this happening? You are being under arrest for fraud. No. Just yeah, like lying. Brian. What? No. Somebody framed me. No, nobody framed you. Hey, get, get my mic from her. That's, I don't need to. That's give me the that. same bullshit that you, you said in, in there. And nobody believes you that. So, I let's think I have shit. a right to a lawyer. Yeah, you yes, do. Yes, and you I'm going to read you your rights once yes. we get yes. And I also want my phone back. No, um, you're not going to get your phone back. No, you're under arrest. I'm going to give it back to you when you get to jail. That's not so go ahead and turn around. You're under arrest. Why the f are you? No. Yes. I don't think this is. Stop resisting. Please. No. This bullshit is over. Okay, so let's go. You have anything in your pockets? Oh, any, yeah. Keys? No. Yes. You you better let me Why? go into your no, uh, no, bag. No. You, you better getting, let me go you into your pack. And, yeah, exactly. Yes, right, yes. You don't get I, personal is, property when you go to jail. We already you explained it to you. Already. Are you this you know already. We already explained it to you. We can do it when we get by the car. Yeah. She has some stuff in the pocket. No, you're, you're not getting anything. I, well, why do you okay, so you're under arrest. Do you understand why you're being detained and under arrest? I believe this is a mistake. Th me? This is not a mistake, you okay? Whatever no. you, want. you could take it up in court. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can yeah, and will be and used against you. Right to, yeah, okay, I yes, right I understand, but shut up for a minute so I can explain it to Let you. Me. You have the right to Please, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of California. Do you understand, understand the rights that I've heard? Right okay. And do you wish to speak with us or remain silent? I wish to remain silent. Okay. Perfect. Nobody gives a shit. I don't give a shit. So put your um, inside. Put your feet inside. I'm going to put them inside for you. So you decide what to do. I'm not you to be yelling. Well, I'm telling you, and then you don't listen. You're real. Turn up. Okay. All right. So I just want you to know that you know Brian ratted you out. Okay. I showed you the text messages. I know. I, I really okay. don't know. Who Brian actually is. Okay, that's your really not he was I, I dated him for nine months, but I really don't know. Okay, him. and the text messages that you talked about about him taking the car and you guys are gonna split the money and go on vacation that was in his phone from your phone number, you're saying that you had nothing to do with that either. Anybody who knows me knows that I would never do that. Okay, well you're gonna have to tell it to the judge. Okay. All right. That's it. All right, cool. She's going to jail. Perfect. I'll meet you down there. Alrighty, All right. sounds good. All right, later.